And now, Policy Brief, how U.S. policy affects your world. The number of refugees in the world has climbed in the past year to nearly 16 million. Afghans, Palestinians, Iraqis, Burmese, Somalis, and Sudanese are among the largest populations. The United States is working to assist those who have been driven from their homes. Todd Pierce is public affairs advisor for the U.S. State Department's Bureau of Population, Refugees, and Migration. People who cross an internationally recognized border for fear of persecution based on certain criteria, for example, race, religion, ethnicity, several other criteria, and go into another country, those people are considered refugees. Mr. Pierce says the U.S. Department of State contributed more than $1 billion in the last year to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and other international and non-governmental organizations. The Bureau of Population, Refugees, and Migration works closely with these groups to be sure funds go to areas of particular concern. What we're always looking for are what we call durable solutions. We want, pe pe we want the refugee situation to end. We, want the, we don't want people lingering in the camp for a very long time. Our first option, of course, is repatriation. Where voluntary return and repatriation are not possible, programs focus on reintegration into the country the refugee has fled to, and in some cases, resettlement. Funds are also focused toward basic life-saving programs, including water, shelter, and health care, and toward the improvement of camps, including education for children. That was Policy Brief, how U.S. policy affects your world.